Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce dynamic filtering and the slicing, meaning we filter based on if this value contains a certain text. There are times we have a list of value, every one of them is a concatenation of text like this. For example, this is a list of customer and the marketplaces where they often shop at. We wanted to filter all the customers that had shopped at Amazon. If we use this field to slice, for example, I create a slicer. And I use these marketplaces to filter and I wanted to find the customers that all had shopped at Amazon. And I have to select all of these to find these three customers. This is redundant and really time consuming. So in today's content, I'm going to make it easier for you. How about we have a list over here and we click on, for example, Amazon and it automatically popped out all the customers that had shopped at Amazon. So how to achieve this? All you need are the functions selected value and the search. The idea is to add a measure to every row to determine whether it is selected when we hit any of the marketplace here. And then we use this measure to filter out all that were selected. Now let's take a look at the table we have. First of all, we have these row tables which contains the customer and the, the marketplaces they often shop at. And since we need to have a list of the marketplaces that we can choose, we have another table that includes all the marketplaces. So how are we going to use search? Firstly, what can search function do? Let's take a look at this official introduction from Microsoft. Search function returns the number of the character at which a specific character or text string is first found from left to right. So basically it means in our cases, for example, if I wanted to find Amazon in this string, from which character does it can be found, like the for the first one and the second one it can be found from the first character, or for the third one that it can be found from the middle of the string. Let's create a column to show you how it exactly worked. Let's try to find Amazon. Find Amazon search. It gives you hints of what to put in into this function. First of all, it's the find text, and I want to find Amazon. Since it said in the this document that it is case insensitive, I'm just gonna try to find Amazon here. And the the next hint is the within text, which is this marketplace. And the start position, I'm going to leave it as blank. By default, it will count from the first character. And you can also put it in like 10 to count from the 10th character. And not font value, I'm going to give it a zero. You can also give it blank. Now, this is the result. So for the first one and second one, it means that the Amazon can be found from the first character of this string. And for the third one, the Amazon can be found from the 15th character of the string. Let's see if this is correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, this is correct. And for the last one, no Amazon can be found in this string. 
This is an example to show you how can we find Amazon using the search function. However, in our cases, I'm, go I'm not going to use this column because we are not only going to find Amazon. We wanted to find Amazon, sometimes Walmart and eBay and Shopee and all other marketplaces. So it has to be dynamic. So instead of using the columns, I'm going to use a measure to measure every row based on which marketplaces I choose. So instead of the column, I will have to create a measure here. New measure. Dyna dy dynamic filter. Search find text. The find text is the marketplaces I just showed here in another table, and the name is market filter. However, when I try to type in the market filter, it isn't there. This is the place we have to use selected value. And then it is there. So what does this selected value do? Let's take a look at the official introduction from Microsoft. It returns the value when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value. Basically, it allows the final result to change based on the value you selected, but not based on exact one value, as I showed in this column before. So in our cases, we want the result to change based on which marketplaces I choose. For example, the Walmart, the eBay. This is the time we use this selected value. And the next input is within text, which is this marketplaces. And the start position, I'm still gonna leave it as blank which means that it will start count from the first character and not from value i will give it as a blank now so now we have we have successfully created this measure let's test out if we are uh, create is to be useful we have this table here. I want to drag the dynamic filter into here. Now it is showing one because we are not filtering any of the market. So all the market are counted into our cases. So it can be found from the first character. Let's start trying to filter Amazon. This is the final result. For the first one, there's no Amazon to be found in this test. So it falls into this category when no value found it is blank so this is blank and for the second one is start find it start to find amazon from the 15th character which is correct and for the last two start from find amazon from the first character which is correct and let's try to find ebay Okay, there's no eBay found, no eBay found, no eBay found. And for this one, it starts to find eBay from the 18th character. So it looks about right. And uh, to have a clear table, we do not want this column to show here because it might confuse our end user. They won't be able to know what does this mean. So we want to hide it, but have it still work on our table. So I'm going to remove this one and uh, put this one into this filter on this visual. Remember to click on the table and drag this, fil drag this field into this part, filters on this visual. And I'm going to restrict it to uh, since it shows from which character it start to count so it ha so if the value can be found into this value it must have a number and the smallest number would be one so i'm gonna set it to be greater than or equal to one applied so we can see that for the when we choose amazon all the values with amazon are here the ones that without Amazon 
has been filtered out by this filter. Looks like we are doing it right. This is how we set a dynamic filtering and a slicing based on what the text contains. I will make another video about several scenarios to use selected value. Stay tuned for that video. Thank you.